everybody this is ross in um today's video uh we're inside the greenhouse i thought i'd give you guys some sort of an update clue you guys in on what's going on in here because it's been about three weeks since we turned the heater on in here since we took the cover off the top it's been a bit cool uh, for the most part it hasn't been all that warm today it was actually 60 and you can see the heater down below uh, with the heater keeping this greenhouse above 60 for the most part at night it's uh it's being kept actually more above like 50. um if i turn the heater up a bit more um i could keep it above 60 but uh right now it's being kept above 50 55 somewhere around there for the most part and then during the day if it's sunny outside um it's warming up quite quite a bit today like i said it was 60 and sunny so it got to probably close to 110 in here and that's really good. That's what we want. Um, we want a day like, like today. Tomorrow is going to be 70. So if I, uh, if it's sunny and 70 and I have this heater on, it probably can get to 120 in here, which is really pushing it. I've seen it in here, uh, 130 over that, I think maybe just by a bit. And the figs actually, <laughs> believe it or not, can deal with temperatures that high. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's not recommended they really start to look really sad at 130 especially at 120. Um, i would keep this greenhouse ideally you want to keep it somewhere about 80 degrees at all times um, obviously not that possible but what i do is i come out here i open this door if i need to right now i find that because not everything has woken up in here um, as you can see some things are really just starting to wake up even though it's been three weeks i told you guys this process would take at least two to four weeks for everything in here to wake up um, and there's probably some trees if i look around closely that haven't exactly woken up there's a planera over there that might actually be dead um, believe it or not my izmir knot doesn't appear to be doing anything just yet uh, what usually is happening and why it takes so long for some of this to wake up is that the trees on the bottom level um, first off are a lot cooler those root temperatures the soil temperatures are a lot cooler the heater is blowing upwards and the heat rises so everything on the bottom level doesn't necessarily get heated um, all that well and therefore it just takes some time um, if i had this heater as an example like it's sort of facing one of these pots in fact, it was, in a way, the Col de Blanc here that you're seeing was probably the first tree in here to wake up simply because the heater was really blowing more of its air in this direction towards this tree. I mean, this is not really where I have the, the heater situated normally, but uh, because of that temperature hitting the soil and warming it up, this tree's woken up first and you can see how much uh how much growth actually it's put out so far there's about three or four leaves per branch per new branch which is quite a bit um, you can tell that this tree i think needs some food and that's my next step of what i'm planning on doing in here is giving some of these guys some food uh, the leaves don't look super pristine um also the growth looks a bit weak we may have to thin out more of these shoots and i i did do a video in here that uh maybe i have or haven't released it yet but talking about thinning out these new shoots you know there's four growth points right here and because the main crop forms on the new wood it's to a lot of our benefit to actually thin out the number of these shoots therefore um, creating you know stronger growth um, less growth points diverting more of the energy into these these stronger growth points here and here uh, these are the apical buds and you can really tell the difference here between what is an apical bud the growth and how strong it is compared to a lateral bud lower down on the tree the lateral bud just really is quite weak and I have to further evaluate some of these trees. I did a lot of thinning out of some of these shoots, but uh, I have to come in here and do this even further and really evaluate each individual tree. 
one more time uh, before I think I'm satisfied. You can see this is a pretty good example of three different shoots that are pretty weak compared to let's say this shoot right here. There's just one of them that's a much thicker and getting much more stronger growth. You know, so it's, it is a benefit here that if you can get um, less of these shoots, you're definitely gonna have an earlier fig season, um, more production here, and definitely overall in a, just a whole host of climates. I think this is a technique that everybody should be paying attention to. You know, forming your trees. That's, that's really what I'm, I'm kind of doing right now is inspecting Brava, um, getting these trees thinned, and then also I'm gonna be feeding them very soon. Uh, we came in here, by the way, we watered everything in once very, very well. Um, I would recommend doing that like the first day that you, you turn this heater on and get this process going, simply because the water that you use, you know, I'm assuming outside in the, the lines that you guys have near your homes is quite cold. So, you know, you're basically putting in very cold water in here significantly cooling the soil down, therefore slowing, slowing the metabolisms of these trees. And that's not what we want when we're trying to wake them up. So just a big tip there is use warmer water if possible. I'm gonna be doing that with my fertilizer. Um, and I watered them in just because they haven't had water since the fall. So it's been, you know, three or four months or whatever it was, um, probably, I would say three, I don't know, three or four, yeah, about four months since they got some water. So um, yeah, so what I'm doing now, I wanna show you guys some Brabas. As I mentioned to you guys in that Braba video that we did, is that I actually have quite a few Braba forming on this Violet de Bordeaux here, and you can just count how many is on that one branch, how many is on this branch here, um, all the way up. It's probably gonna be close to, here's another branch right there where there's about four of them. And they're, you know, some of them are, are forming slower than others on different parts of the tree. It seems like, you know, the, the lower Brabas are actually forming faster than the, the higher Brabas, which is, um, I attribute, I guess, to the sap flow, right? The sap flow comes up from the roots and goes out to the highest point of the tree. So I'm assuming it's kind of working its way up and we're gonna see even more Brava form higher up on the tree. And uh, I could be looking at quite a few Brava off that, that Vila de Bordeaux. Um, so that's sort of the update here with this, this greenhouse here, guys. I did get, it's, it does look like now three weeks in that just about every tree in here is awake. There's about maybe one or two exceptions Maybe, maybe three or four trees at most um, that have not shown any signs of waking up. So I can pretty much, if they're not gonna wake up, you know, if they're not already woken up, they're gonna wake up very soon. So basically my season is starting from sometime around, I would say the first of March to about the 10th of March. And that's a good average date for just about every tree in here in the greenhouse in terms of them waking up and not waking up. Um, very quickly, I actually have started my onions. Shout out to uh, Joe. I've got them here in a tray and I've got them multi-sown just like Charles Dowding does. Covered them with this plastic just to keep it, keep the soil moist because it's so dry in here with the heater and it's getting to 100 degrees. So the soil dries out very quickly and I wanted that even uh, moisture so they can germinate well. We still don't have the, the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli transplanted. All the snap peas are, and I'm just basically keeping these, these snap peas here just watered well uh, because it's a source of food, right? You can break these off. These are pea shoots. They're really, really tasty. And then that's it, you know? So that's the end of this little update, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll talk to everybody soon, right? Check us out on figboss.com, Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys for tomorrow's video, all right? Take care, everybody.